Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Yo, real quick before we get started with today's awesome video, you guys, I did want to let you guys know that I do now live stream daily on a different YouTube channel called Day Trade with Benji. The link is down below in the description if you guys want to subscribe to it and literally catch me live streaming every single day during market trading hours. We pretty much hang out. I show you guys all the trades I make on my other portfolios because I have day trading portfolios. I have like all kinds of portfolios, honestly, that I don't show on this channel necessarily. So stop by Day Trade with Benji and definitely subscribe. And hopefully we'll see all of you guys tomorrow at Market Open. So here we go. We're going to open up the free stock from Robinhood. We have one free stock today. It is from Bryce P. Thank you, Bryce. Let's go ahead and open it up. Left. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Come on, a big one, please. Oh, not bad. Not bad. That's not bad. A share of Ford. Today, surprisingly enough to me, we actually had a pretty green day across the entire stock market. Dow is closing about half a percent in the green. S&B 0.87% in the green, NASDAQ leading the way 1.55% in the green, and the VIX has gotten crushed today, which I was very surprised about with everything going on, the inauguration being tomorrow, the uncertainty in the markets with the transfer of power and many other things. I thought that the VIX was going to be screaming today, but we always have tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we will see a big jump in the VIX. This is something I have my eye extra close to right now because I am currently in a day trade right now with 150 shares of a VIX ETF. So... We are sort of hoping for a very short-term bump in the VIX so we can make some money off of that. So we will be watching the VIX as of tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if we do have a green day in the VIX tomorrow. On some other news though, Treasury nominee Yellen did speak today talking about there's about economic issues and such um, saying that the U.S. can afford a higher corporate tax rate if it coordinates with other countries. So Yellen is Joe Biden's uh, Treasury nominee. So we'll see what happens. She did testify today. Um, pretty long speech. We looked into it a little bit. We will have to see if some of these things come into fruition, such as tax raises for corporations, etc. So we will have a pretty interesting transition here. As far as the big portfolio, though, we are closing positive around $670, 0.15% in the green today. We're still at 395, 700 and some change. Still cannot pass that 400K range, but it's all good because we are still doing pretty decent. Last week, though, we're up 0.25%. Last month, we're up 1.49%. Last three months, 5.6%. Last year, 691 And then all time, we are up 7.29%. As far as some trades today on the Robinhood portfolio, we did go ahead and make a few purchases. We bought one more share of Costco at 358.51. Costco then later sold off to almost like 350, so we bought this one a little bit premature. But we got one more share later on at 355.54, so we're building up our position with Costco, buying it when it is down in price, which it's been selling off pretty significantly though over the last few weeks now. And then one trade that we made today also, we ended up selling off all of our shares of Whirlpool. We had seven more shares of Whirlpool that were actually free because we had a bunch of Whirlpool a while back. We sold half our position because we were up over 100% in Whirlpool. And I sold off this position because it was a relatively small position in my portfolio. I was up so much in it. I was up well over 100% um, return. And just with the market being at almost all-time highs across the board, I do, of course, want to trim some positions if they don't really see fit in the portfolio necessarily. So Whirlpool is a great company, great position, but um, it was near all-time five-year high as well for Whirlpool. So we went ahead and trimmed that position away from the portfolio. Slimming the portfolio down yet again to less and less shares of different stocks in the portfolio. I am also going to be making a video sometime very soon here, you guys, going over all my positions in the portfolio and going over how much I'm making per year, per month from dividend income because we have not made an update video on that for quite a while. So I do want to make that video sometime soon here, hopefully maybe even this weekend. So we'll see if we can make that video and update you guys with all that. But here's where the portfolio is at right now. It's actually slimming down quite a bit. It's pretty crazy. I remember when we had so many shares in this portfolio, we could barely even scroll through. But... This is where it's sitting right now. And I do have to say that I'm really liking what this portfolio is becoming. Now, I did want to touch on also moving forward, we are going to see a new administration. A lot of things are going to be changing in the stock market and, and in the economy, et cetera, over, over the next few months and next few years now that Biden is going to be in starting tomorrow. So we are going to have to do our best to play this new administration and keep in mind that things are going to be changing. Now, I don't necessarily specifically have anything too crazy in mind right off the bat, but I do just want to mention that certain positions in your portfolio might do different things now that the administration is changed. So 
take a deep look through your portfolio, make sure that everything is looking good because there are certain companies that will benefit more than others off this new administration. Um, just like off the Trump administration, certain companies benefited more than, you know, off of the Obama administration. So keep that in mind. I'm going to try to do the same in trying to play off of, you know, that. And we are doing much more of that over on our other new portfolio on TD Ameritrade. So here's our new portfolio on TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. We are up currently on it as of all time, $703, which is crazy considering we started this portfolio about three weeks ago with around twelve dollars to $14,000. We are already up around almost 10%, which is pretty cool. Um, this is where the portfolio is made up of right now. Etsy is our leader. We are up almost $300 in return on this Etsy alone, which is pretty cool. So on and so forth. Amazon is the laggard in the portfolio. We are down um, the most on Amazon, but... As I was saying just a second ago, I am trying to play off of things that are going to do well off this new administration, such as clean energy, different tech companies even, just trying to keep in mind, you know, what would benefit off of a new uh, Biden Democrat administration. I tend to not get too emotional about whatever political, you know, person is in office. I try to really instead try to see what I can do, you know, to help my current situation. That's what I would recommend all of you guys to do as well. So we do have a new administration starting tomorrow. Um, we will have to see what pops this later this week off of this or if the market sells off a little bit. I'm thinking we might have a little bit of turbulence, if you ask me. That's why I'm loading up on VIXY shares, day train the VIX. So if you ask me, I think we're going to have some volatility, but I could be wrong. But either way, we're going to continue to buy things that I think will do very well under this new administration. As far as new stocks that I did end up purchasing in this portfolio today on TD Ameritrade, I ended up grabbing one more share of AMD at $87.99. We bought almost perfectly on this dip today. AMD is still down below our average cost. I think it's a steal at around $88. So I'm going to continue to buy more AMD while I can. We grabbed that one earlier today. Then we ended up buying uh, two more shares of Woof, which is Petco that came out last week in IPO. This one is currently at around $26.50. We bought the dip just before the dip, I guess, at twenty-five seventy-seven. So we grabbed a nice uh, few shares of Woof also earlier today. So we are actually up in price on that one as well. So we've been playing it pretty good, guys. This year, I'm really trying to urge myself and I urge you guys to just remain patient. It's really hard sitting here in front of the computer and not just wanting to buy, buy, buy like I was doing over the last year. But trust me, I think it's better for me to long term to be, to be patient wait for things to dip a little bit, wait for different stocks to show the movement of where it's moving and where it's going, and then maybe take a snap it and grab some shares. So I've been doing a much better job of that this year uh, versus last year. I'm going to try to continue to remind myself and remind you guys to do so. But you guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much as always for stopping by. Please, please drop some likes on the video, leave some comments or questions down below, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a video. We post videos every single day going over all my trades in the stock market, showing you all the stocks I buy, the stocks I sell, and much, much more. So make sure to subscribe. And lastly, you guys, we do have a Discord server that's dedicated to investors like you. It's full of dividend investors, option traders, day traders, and much, much more. So join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's absolutely free to join. And I hope we see all of you guys in there. Again, thanks for stopping by, you guys. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video.